We're back with another episode of Mervin McMervin. Big shout out to EA for the early access here on UFC 4. Do what Mervin's got in episode 3. So for this part, it's a sparring challenge. We're going to see Mervin actually learn a little bit about takedowns. Uh, I actually don't mind the control schemes. They actually change everything too. Like it seems to work. I'm using the hybrid control scheme as well. And like it's working pretty well. You guys saw the joint submissions. Uh, again, we've been trying this out. Use the left uh, and the right triggers basically to, to stay over top of what they have. And then you'll see in the bottom, there's sort of like a, a red and a blue bar. You want to get your bar to fill up before theirs. You just want to try to stay literally on top of their bar more than you can. When you're actually fighting like a real opponent, they're going to be swapping around like crazy but you just want to try to mimic focus, their pattern keep your bar over top of theirs and you'll be in a good spot you'll feel the vibration pretty much constantly and then as you can see get a nice little we'll oh, just get we don't get a submission but we were close okay and then for the hyper controls again you can get up pretty simple we'll try some of this out on our next match we're back at the carnival i mean 7-eleven okay this is the moment we've been waiting for is it sees it good your striking is better than this. Yeah. Your ground game is better than this. Yeah. Yep. Your coach is better looking than this. Maybe. Debatable. <laughs> you come a long way. All right, you win this one, you got a shot at the contender series. Then the fun really starts. You hungry? Yeah. Then let's go. Obviously, Merv is hungry. Let's get him, big fella. All right, we're fighting. Is that Clay Thompson? Hello? Hey, he's got a go to like Clay Thompson. Oh, what you doing, buddy? Oh, chill. Merv is trying to get you in that clinch real quick, you know? It's worked out well for him. I'm going to try to conserve his stamina a little bit easier, a little bit more because we've seen how, uh, you know. Ooh, imagine we hit Clay Thompson with that. A little overhand coming. A little clinch. Jesus. Yeah, get the side control real quick. North, south. You have no submissions this way. Let's go with side control again. Knee on the belly. All right, let's make sure he doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna go back at the knee and the belly in a second. Just any any day now, Mervin. I know your stamina's kind of a little trash in the moment. We we'll try our best. Well, oh, this guy's actually putting in work. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Can't have it your way. Oh, this is not looking good for this young man. This is not looking good for this young man. Oh, he got up. You let him up, Mervin. What's all that? Ooh, I know that hurts. Overhand levels looking good. Some dirty boxing right there. I like it. I love the clinch game. It's it's one of the best things in here. So much easier to get into now. The moves out of it are incredible. Right, toe jam. Some uppercuts there. Oh, Mervin, you're athletic. Try to preserve the stamina a little bit better than what we did before. You know, we're not doing the best job with it at the moment. Which our stance. Sir, never do that again. Get him here, Mervin. Expose him. Expose him. Mervin, can we just one time for the one time? You're going to learn today. I've never seen a man in tights do all this. This is kind of incredible. I know that hurts. We're gonna leave the clinch. We're gonna make him leave. Not Bolin Taylor. Oh, get him, Mervin. Expose this young man. Clay Thompson should have sucked the basketball. It's over. It's over now. Mervin's the best. He's dominant now. You can't stop him. No matter how hard to try. <laughs> this is one of the greatest songs of all time. Mervin McMervin in this short little career mode before we get full access to the game, hopefully soon. It's Dominic Yance again. Once again. Birds are hard. Dana White, where are you? Coach, I'm a little... Merv is a little sweaty. Where's Dana White? So again, hype is very low. We got 192 fans. That, like, triple what we had before. Evolution points through the roof. I just want to use them at some point because we've yet to be able to do that. We leveled up. We're level four now. I doubt we go to level five, but still solid work overall. So if you look at the fights, we had a boxing, a kickboxing, a wrestling, and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fight. We dominated them all, okay? Options are out here for our boy Mervin. This is kind of cool. So after you do that, they give you an option for career difficulty assessment. You can go easy, look moderate, hard, or legendary. I mean, for the sake of this one, we'll go with hard. Contract earned. 
throw Mervin the money. He's man's got to eat a little bit. He's slimmed down some. So 5,000 for a show, 5,000 for a win. So 10,000 total if you end up getting a dump. Not bad at all. Whoa! Rare profile pick. So you're going to like earn stuff throughout. We get the basic beige. The tights look way better. Give Mervin tights or don't give him anything at all. So we're going to simulate to the next fight offer again. This is all brand new for the career mode. They've redone so much for career mode, which I'm pretty hyped about. So your home is kind of similar, a little bit of a visual upgrade. Career home is where you receive fight offers and contracts in the WFA or UFC. You can also review your contract bonuses, fight history, rankings, or, or and GOAT status. Merv is already the GOAT. Uh, you access your fighter option, or no. Click the right stick to access the fighter menu. This option is fighter evolution. Here you can spend evolution points to upgrade fighter attributes, recover from injuries, and unlock perks. You can also edit your fighter's moves. I like that. Then over here, we have edit appearance option. You can equip new vanity items and customize your fighter's look. Changes can only apply or will only apply your career mode fighter. Licensed fighters cannot be customized. That makes sense to me. All right, first things first, I want to go to the fighter evolution because I would like to spend some points there. I feel like we've done a good little bit. So upgrading attributes. Use the evolution points earned in sparring to improve your fighter attributes or unlock new perks. If also, some attributes will rise as your longevity decreases. But some of your attributes will decay over time. That makes sense. That way you can't be like a 99, 100 overall at the end of your career when you're struggling. It makes perfect sense to me. Attributes lost due to injury must be recovered using evolution points. Got it. So what do we got here? Accuracy, blocking, footwork, head movement. Where's stamina? Under health, right? Cardio. Mervin does not have a lot of this. You can upgrade that. Okay. Wow, it's 20 points. So we have 156 points. I'm getting his stamina up. I max it out. We'll see how that works out. Then accuracy. I want to increase that a little bit. It's two stars. So you go half a star per thing. Punch power. I want that up. Uh, two and a half. And then we don't have really enough to do. Oh, we can actually do this one. Okay. So kick speed or kick power. I'm going to go kick power. We've got that upgraded. So you also have move evolution, which I probably should have looked into a little bit, but this is move evolution. Every time you land a strike, submission, takedown, or a transition, uh, you gain move evolution for that move or move package. Here you can view the current move evolution of all your fighters' moves. Again, pretty dope. Kind of tells you where you are, how far you need to go. Uh, I mean, jabs and straights have been our main thing. Really, from here, I feel like clinch should be kind of high. No? Okay. What about clinch knees in the head? Yeah, we've been putting in work on that one. Clinch knees in the head are already a two-star. We're like a ways away from getting a three-star, but we've been doing a lot of those. And then really the other one is uh, lead collar tie clinch. We use that one pretty often. But again, this is a great way for you to review what moves you basically have that you can essentially do and then try to, you know, work out from there. Clinch body hooks that you probably be throwing. You know, we got some core clinch moves that your boy has not done quite yet, but still there's some progress here. Then you also have perks. So you have crafty, so improve submission defense and bottom positions. Um, I don't, we have an empty slot here, but I don't think we've really... I think, yeah, I guess you have to unlock them, then you can equip them, maybe? But I can't really buy anything because we have one point. We'll check, but it's kind of cool. When you become a UFC fighter, you get more. You become a UFC ranked fighter, you get more. And then you become a UFC champion, uh, then you'll get essentially more as well. So kind of cool that, you know, you can upgrade all this stuff. All right, all that being said, we got a fight offer. So this is the fight offer. You can unlock information about your opponent using the watch tape option in training camp. I like that. When available, you can accept or decline fight offers. Declining a fight offer could create a future rivalry, but could also negatively impact future contracts and bonuses. That's interesting. You also be sitting out longer between fights, potentially leading to others past you in rankings. Look, they've done some very good work here because career mode in the UFC 3 was not overall that great. This though feels a lot better. So we really only have one option we can do. There's just one guy we can fight, right? Can't go up, can't go down, can't move it. So Randall Callahan, he's 8-1. It's a four-week fight camp. Our starting fitness is moderate. Hype is very low. No one really cares about it. And we have to watch tape and training camp to learn overall. That's kind of cool, too. You got to do your work or else you're going to go against the guys. You have no idea how good they are. Randall, Mervin accepts. Four weeks for the fight camp. Gym fees, 35% of the total thing. Not bad at all. So again, they're walking us through this. Sparring lets you practice with training partners specializing in different aspects of MMA. You can also invite a fighter to your training camp to learn new moves or watch tape to scout your upcoming opponent. That's dope. Inviting a fighter is cool because if you knock them out, you can make a rivalry out of that. Or if you just use them, they can such be a friend of yours later on. That's pretty sick. I like that a lot. Hype gives you access to promotions and sponsorships, which can earn cash and increase popularity. You can also improve your connections with other fighters to reduce the cost of learning new moves. Again, this is great. All training camp actions cost weekly points. You have 100 points to spend each week. Injuries suffered during training camp will take away weekly points. 
I got it. I like how that's set up. So I think first things first, we're going to watch some tape because I want to know like how good this guy actually is. There's not really any game plans. There's really just one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we find out this guy is a half star oh overall. God. Okay, then that should be easy. Okay, so once you find his overall, you can actually go in to learn more. I didn't realize this. So we can learn his fighter style. He's a kickboxer. Okay, top moves. See what he's got there. So roundhouse kick is his number one move. Body roundhouse. Okay, this guy obviously going to be pretty. His jab's actually not bad for his overall. And that's all that we've got for this week. So you can, again, you can learn four and five. So we can get attributes and tendencies. And that's essentially all you can purchase. But I like how they've laid this out now. You got to spend more time to figure out who your opponent is and how good they are. All right. So because we've unlocked those first three, let's go ahead and check out his attributes. We find out that his grappling and striking are not good. That's great. Then his tendencies. Spiders, if you check his the spider's leg kicks, you'll be hurting them more uh, than you were hurting yourself. Okay, I like that. We got some good news. Checking out promotions as well. Promotions can increase your popularity and build fight hype. Signing a sponsorship will give you more promotional opportunities. Improving connections with other fighters will reduce the cost of learning new moves to invite a fighter. And makes a lot of sense. We got a little promotions here. Stream a sparring session. That's pretty dope. But we're going to go ahead and post to social media. There's also, again, sponsorships here. You can sign a sponsorship deal. Who's trying to sign our guy? Okay, who wants to sign him? Guaranteed cash bonus after every fight. There's active ones. Hey, Reporter, Freddy that's Spaghetti, Raging Realtors. Oh, this is cool. There's like different tiers. And there's requirements you actually have to meet for each one. Okay. So the top one looks like for Diamond, St. Pierre Rush Rideshare. Uh, is, what is that? Uh, one point. I can't do math. Is that like 15000 150000 I think $150,000 per fight. That's pretty sick. But right now, we're chilling with sponsorships no one wants to be our sponsor imagine so when you do sparring again they change that as well basically you go in you have boxing muay thai wrestling brazilian jiu-jitsu or heavy bag heavy bag gives you a low risk of injury uh you can kind of see what the rewards are for each one you can also refresh your challenges which give you 10 for that so if there's a certain drill you don't like refresh that challenge and you can try to get a different one but you have no guarantee which one is going to be there's also a move evolution boost. So you see for boxing, Superman punches go up 47%. Uh, front kicks at 35% for Muay Thai. Wrestling, 43% for wrestling get-ups. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is 38% orthodox submissions. And then for heavy bag, damage with kicks to leg, 800 damage to any strike. I uh, land 15 to strike. Great combinations. Words are hard. So doing that within it will then get you more. So this is kind of cool. I like how they set this up. All right, so here in sparring again, we got to throw any strike against a kickboxer. Again, it's what we're going to be facing. Kickboxer, has got to land 10 of those. That was good. There we go. So we unlocked a 35% evolution bonus on front kicks. Not bad. Job, I guess man. the rest of it, we're just going ham. Fight. Well, I wonder if we can actually fight this guy in our career. And then if he'll be, like, mad if we knock him out or something. He should be mimicking. You can see over on the left-hand side as well, they've got uh, what our stamina or sort of our fitness level is right now. We gotta get this dude in the clinch. Might be a little dangerous, but not if he's eating these knees like that. Like it's a little harder to get your fitness up. In UFC 3, I can spam stuff and get my fitness up really quick. Whoa, whoa, hold on, brother. Got here, catch your hands. Come on now. I go to the body, make him think. Imagine. Try to get that front kick, because that's what we got the evolution points on. Here we go. This man is eating toes left and right. Oh, you don't take these knees too. He's doing a good job of getting out of those. All right, so solid, solid work there. We didn't get our fitness up a ton, but dude, the results are here. Look at this, just physical specimen. No injuries, five evolution points. Current fitness, not great. Uh, we got seven more evolution updates. Again, not mad at that. And what's cool is you can actually use the left stick to go in and see more information to get more details. So we got plus five for complete for completing challenges. And we got some of the wallets. So we get a total of six. You see, you got your challenges completed and then more evolution updates, basically showing you what you essentially upgraded uh, and how much you did. So you can also go ahead and invite a fighter to your training camp, which is the last thing I'll kind of show you guys from here. Uh, basically, with certain fighters, there's going to be different things you have to do. So, for example, for Marlon Morales, reach top 15 in the UFC to essentially be able to invite him to your camp. If you look at the rankings, there's not a lot of people that Mervin can actually invite. We can invite Alex Caceres, probably butchering that. I learned a couple moves from him. We've got Brennan Madden. Again, these guys are not ranked. And James Vick, which is the lead, or sorry, the lead side leg kick. Uh, I think we're going to do that. It's cost us $15,000 to learn that from him to get him into camp. 
Okay, you know what? For the sake of it, let's go ahead and learn it. It's expensive, but I want to try it out. So you unlock and earn evolution points by successfully using the move you're trying to learn against your invited training partner. Remember to always keep your guard up. The harder you go, the harder your training partner will strike back. Interesting. Okay, buddy, that you're just trying to kill me. We gotta get 250 points from him. I just kicked him where the sun don't shine. That's actually I'm here for that move. Okay, stop, sir. Sir. Here we go. It's a nice little way to like try to learn these. And also get the fighter in there. Here we go. Well, let's see we two more, I think. One more, yeah. Here we go. We got it. So we got it to level one. We had five minutes to do that. Seems pretty easy. You could also sort that menu like different things, whether it's takedowns, punches, kicks, combos, whatever. There was a lot of different options for that too. We just went after a certain fighter. Uh, which is still pretty cool. So again, we earned that move. It's a one star level. We got a couple of evolution points and our fitness is at moderate. So we should probably work on getting that to be better for the fight. So that's sort of how training camp ultimately works. I think it's a really much improved addition for what we saw previously. In our next episode, we're fighting Randall Callahan. Body this dude. Believe it.